Eric is playing a very conventional Gardevoir list. Was that uh, a counter energy in Igor's hand? Oh, you know it was. We will get into that later once we see some of the spicy things that he busts out. Uh, so Eric here gets the really optimal play with uh, Gardevoir. Goes for the turn one Bridget. Uh, probably uh, going to be going for probably two Ralts and a Remoraid. Maybe two Remoraid and a Ralts. I don't know. Um, but I'm really excited to see this matchup play out. Um, uh, I can't say Igor is playing a variation on Golisopod Zorark, uh, but it is a really... Uh, it is an interesting list. I'm well, going to leave it at there's that. There's a lot of interesting things here. So typically this matchup is very weird. And some would say it's favored in Zorapod's favor because mm. Gardevoir uses his attack to fee uh, you know, feed off of all the energy your opponent attaches. But right. Golisopod Zorark only needs one energy attachment. Mm -hmm. So the damage cap is very limited there. So right. it's, it's kind of interesting, but then again, you know, Gardevoir has Galilead for Zorark. Absolutely. And that's a huge factor in this matchup. 150 HP, a really hard number for uh, Zoropod to hit. So this it, is a definitely an interesting matchup. Definitely an inter interesting matchup for sure. And I think that going forward into Igor's turn here, it looks like he's going for an Ultra Ball. Uh, getting rid of a Field Blower, I don't know what else he's going to discard. I would not discard that counter energy so that you don't give Eric some weird idea. <laughs> So, gonna get rid of the Mallow. If he does play puzzle. I feel like you just do that, and it's kind of have him look at you like, wait, what? Yeah, like what? Like what? Throw, is, throw him off. What is this tomfoolery? So, Igor's gonna go ahead and play an Ultra Ball. I didn't see the rest of his hand. It didn't look all that great. So he's definitely gonna go for a Tapu Lele. Looks like he's eyeing up that Bridget. Gonna go ahead and get himself some three Nani X Basics and put those on his bench. Uh, eyeing up a lot of Zoruas. I feel like in this matchup, you would go for a lot more of the Golisopods. Yeah. Or the Wimpods, absolutely. I, I agree with that also, but I think it also comes down to, you know, using the strength of Zoropod, and that's, you know, Zork's tradeability. Yes. So, uh, while it is kind of a, a, you know, liability on the bench with the, with the guard of, uh, Gallade, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, potentially on your opponent's side of the field, but you still need that, tr that trade. Yeah, absolutely. So, I still see Igor kind of like looking around in his deck. Um, so, I mean, I guess we can sort of talk about why he's got that counter energy so... If I'm looking at the list that we were provided correctly, he plays one counter energy, and then he plays one breakpoint pseudo Wudo with that watch and learn attack. So that's the one that uh, copies the last attack your opponent's active use, correct? Correct, yes. So, you know, if Eric just goes for, like, a ginormous, you know, infinite, infinite force, force, you know, Igor can just come back with that counter energy on. That's already two energy. That's, yes. Plus yeah. a choice band. Yes. That is a really easy... That's actually that real. So, and it comes out too, too. You need... Uh, a lot of energy to knock out a Glissapod, which will have one energy on it. So I could set up a potential play there that mm. a Gardevoir has to load up, and you just retaliate back with a pseudo Wudo, So Right, absolutely. So it looks like he's going to go for the Wimpod and two Zoruas for that uh, Bridget that he just got. And he attaches the counter energy to Lele. Oh my god. So, unfortunately, uh, counter energy does nothing when it is... It counts as one cuddleless energy. Right, exactly. Yeah, so, he can't, so he can't energy he can't track, track, yeah. obviously. So, we're going to see Eric go straight for the Gallade. I like that play. I think Gallade is really good in this matchup, just because it one-shots the Zoroarks that might come into play. Mm -hmm. And it's also really good at trading with the Golisopod, just because they have to waste their crossing cut yes, exactly. to be able to knock out the Gallade, which is absolutely huge. So, we're going to see Eric go ahead and go for that. It would be no surprise if he had like a rare candy in his hand to evolve. Mm -hmm. Be able to get an attack off right now. The, um, the synergy with Gallade and Octillery is insane. Yep, and there Real you go. Real Premonition, uh, little top five cards in your deck, put them in any order you like, on top of an Abyssal Hand to draw them all. Yep, and we just saw that. Octillery just got put down. He evolved into Gallade, used uh, Abyssal Hand, drew himself a nice fresh four cards, and he has an Ultra Ball. So if he really wants to get aggressive, he could, you know, maybe go for a Tapu Lele for a Guzma or something like that. And maybe I can honestly see that play ones. happening right now. Right, exactly. So... We're going to see that. Yeah, with I, Guzma, oh, he's going, going for the Wimpod. That actually makes I sense. I like that play. Yes, that is a really good play. Take off the liability off the board, and or I guess it gets the real issue off the board and keep all the fighting weak stuff on there. Yes, absolutely. And Gallade's attack, uh, Sensitive Blade, it does 60, but when you play a supporter, it does another 70. So that's perfect to knock out that Wimpod that has 70 HP. And it looks like Eric's spicy tech is now being shown uh, through his mm -hmm. premonition uh, in the form of Clefairy oh, yes. from the Evolution set. Clefairy. What a good card. So I believe it's for three colorless? Three colorless. Three colorless lets you copy one of your opponent's attacks that they just used, correct? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you're, if you're feeling really good, the first attack for a colorless puts him to sleep. Hey, there we go. All right. Very <laughs> good. So going back to Igor's turn, he's going to go ahead and play Professor Sycamore, draw himself a nice fresh hand of seven cards. 
And what do you what do you want to see out of Igor at this point? I mean, I feel like you'd obviously want to evolve the Zora. I don't know if you'd want to attack with them though. Is the problem? Would you just go in with a Tapu Lele GX? Uh, right now, I would have a Tapu Lele GX because he you know he needs a lot to uh, knock out. Uh, yeah. Return knockout with only potentially one Gardevoir. I don't think it's gonna happen. So mm -hmm. uh, I think Lele is fine. Just attacking right now. Touch DCE. Oh, whoa, was that or, just a pass? Or a pass. That, that, also that was a works. puzzle time pass. And double Gallade. Double Gallade. Oh, boy. And there goes the fairy energy attachment there. Eric is on fire right now, using that abyssal hand to draw his hand wow. up to five. My goodness. Oh, there's an N. All right, so both players are going to shuffle their hands in, draw a card for each of their remaining prize cards. This so. is a really good spot for... Her. You know, he can get tough to a situation where he can premonition once, abyssal head the first time, then premonition again, and then abyssal head a second time. Yes, he can. That's an absolutely insane combo. This is, this is going to be really fun. So, yeah, Eric's going to get five cards. Igor's going to get six. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Eric's in a really good board state right now. Not to say that Igor can't come back. I think that if he can get the right and cards. And he drew like, a parallel. Is that a parallel? No. Oh, that's off. That's parallel. A For a quick second. <laughs> I wish it were. Uh, all right, he's going to play an Ultra Ball. I don't see why he wouldn't get the second artillery out. That sounds like fun. Well, if he plays the second artillery. Oh, yeah, he plays 2-2 two, two line. Oh, gosh, he does. And he just glanced by it, so we could see it come so out right now. we could see it coming out, or if you wanted to get, like, a third waltz out or something like that. Yep, he's going to go for the artillery. Get himself another abyssal hand for this turn. He uh, is end-proof at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like, you knock out one thing, well, okay, I'll just, you know, rearrange my stuff and go into the deck. Knock out exactly. another thing, I'll just do the exact same thing. So we're going to go ahead and see Eric use that Premonition ability. Uh, actually, let's see, look at the top five cards of your deck. Rearrange them however you want. Mm -hmm. That is a really good ability in, in tandem with Octillery. Yep. That, you know, lets you draw until you have five cards in your hand. You can rearrange it to get exactly, exactly what, you, what you want, yep. which is huge. So we're going to see him do that. And then he's going to use his second Abyssal Hand, draw another three cards. Oh, my goodness. And he's going to Premonition again. This is the exact combo we just mentioned. And Gosh, this is so good. It is putting in work. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, this is so good. All right, so he's going to go ahead and Premonition, rearrange those five cards for the second time. Just because the Premonition abilities, you can use one for each Glade you have in play. So it looks like he's kind of deciding. Does he want to put, like, a Gardevoir on top, or what does he want to put on top? I, I figured he was hoping to see a raw set of Krillian yeah, hand right there. Yeah, probably. Um, but, I mean, obviously, this state right now he's in right now is perfect. Is, oh, yeah. there is one of Igor's spicy texts. It's a Mew EX. So a card that is still legal because of the promo print that came out uh, last year, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, has that versatile ability. It lets you copy any attack on the board as long as you have the energy. So he can copy Sensitive Blade here. It's, it's kind of a, like a risk-reward thing because, yes, you get to knock out the galley, but then return Gallet knockout so easy you. with just a supporter. Yeah, the downside is that Mew is 120 HP and a sensitive blade after a supporter is played knocks, Ooh, out, knocks out the knocks Mew. It out, yeah. I did not mean to rhyme there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> did you not mean to do it? Uh, or did I? <laughs> Secret plan. All right. So it looks like Igor is going to go ahead and play an N. Uh, Igor is going to get six cards. Eric's going to get five again. I mean... I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a really nice knockout for Igor so he can at least maintain the pressure yep. and at least stay up with the same pace that Eric is going at. That's very true. Because at this point, Eric can just do it, not do whatever he wants, but he can just get whatever he wants. What he's hit a Guzma, so now next to all he's just promote Octillery and Guzma up. All right, there's a Parallel City. Going to knock Eric down to three. Uh, Evo Soda, probably going to get a Zork. So this Zork's going to go down next turn. Yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see what uh, Eric can respond with. So there goes Evo Soda evolving into that Zork. Would not be surprised to see a trade this turn. That trade ability letting you discard one card. Get two cards off the top of your deck. Draw two cards. Seems pretty good. He's going to get rid of that Tapu Koko. Kind of realizes Tapu Koko isn't really useful at this point. And another Zork. So getting some momentum here from, on Igor's side. Yes. So Second trade. trade number two. Yep. Going to go ahead and retreat that Tapu Lele GX. Going to go into the Mew EX. Probably going to just copyright a speeding just to be safe and there goes the knockout on that glade and we are tied up on prizes all right so but you didn't see this even. coming <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna go ahead and attach the fairy energy to the glade super odd probably gonna put glade back in probably a Ralts. i think that might be it in his discard is it i don't think he's lost any uh base yeah i think it's either, just so. oh there's a lele okay oh, so he's the parallel gonna, city yep. so yeah so he's gonna put the top of lele back in um but yeah, even if he doesn't have a supporter in hand, he can just premonition, yep. abyssal hand, yep. get it, knock out the Mew. So so he has, um, looks like one spot. Oh, that's a Cynthia. I thought that was a Guzma. All right, oh, there you go. He is set. So 
he is set, so Cynthia is going to let him draw fresh new six cards from his deck. Uh, personally, if I were playing, I'd love to see a Ralts at this point, just have like mm -hmm. a nice backup attacker, because you don't know if Igor is going to have those puzzles. And I think that's what, what, get the what's back. on Igor's mind right now, is that he does not have the backup ready, so... Right. So is that a Curlia that looks like... Yeah, it looks like yeah. a Curlia. Mm -hmm. So it looks like he is going to Premonition... Oracle Fairy. Right, so but there is a Ralts, so I think he's going to move the Ralts to the top. I think he's also going to figure out how he can thin his hand down is the problem, because it doesn't look like he can thin his hand down to be able to draw that. Not currently. He's already played a supporter, and right. so he's kind of... St kind of stuck. Kind of stuck in a sense. I mean, obviously he is going to benefit from taking the two prizes here, but what do you do in this situation? You don't have an attacker for the next turn. Mm -hmm. That's the main problem. Yep, so he's just content to say, I'll use Sensitive Blade. I'll take two prizes. That seems fine. Yep, there we go, double puzzle. So he's probably going to boost back that Mew. Probably a double colorless energy or an N. Uh, I like the end play. I like um, the end play so as goes well. So he goes DCE right now, has the quick knockout, and ends him down after you just premonition mm -hmm. and takes away your only attacking option. So He's considering putting the other puzzle back in his hand, though. I could see the point for either. Yeah, he's going to go for the puzzle instead, I think. So... Going to go ahead and do that. He was going to go down. Trade number one. And I think he just helped trade him to hit the end off the uh, trade. Yeah. Ace Arola. Okay, yeah, that's a decent play. Might as well just play something, and it kind of gets that off the board so that it won't be prone to just the, the extra 40 damage that mm -hmm. a Tapu Lele GX on Eric's side would maybe hit. Plus it boosts, you know. Yep. Uh, well, I think he had to play it for the prep for the sensitive blade attack. Yeah. Or right mean, is beating. I mean, he can copy right is beating. So yeah. It's all good. So there we go. Glade is down, and on to Eric. He's got the Ralts. So uh, this is a scary spot. This is a scary spot. If this Ralts goes down and he doesn't have any other Pokemon, then uh, that would not be good for Eric. He mm -hmm. will be without an attacker. So he's gonna get the end. Looks like he's playing the end. So Eric's gonna get three cards off this. Er uh, Igor is gonna get four. Uh. If you're Igor, what do you want to draw at this point? Like, I mean, you have trade and everything. Like, I think I think he's pretty. He's he's pretty much a good spot. He's kind of just hoping that Eric does not hit this other Ralts, and right. he just wants to Guzma DC. I just Guzma. He says the float stone on the Lele. Absolutely. So options are there, mm -hmm. uh, but Eric really just seems to find another basic, and it does yep. not look like he had. He's yeah. a basic plus um, field blower. Yeah, it does not look like he was able to get it off of there. He's gonna play his hand down so he can use that second abyssal hand from Octillery. Uh, gonna play Super Rod. Looks like he's shuffling Ralts, Scalade, and a Fairy back in. Mm -hmm. So, pretty decent play. So, you know, next turn, maybe if he wants to get a Ralts or something like that. I mean, a Glade, excuse me. I mean, Ralts would be good, too. Mm -hmm. So, going to go ahead and shuffle those back in. Um, that kind of stinks for Eric, though, because if that Ralts goes down due to, like, a Guzma or anything like that, uh, he's in a rough spot. Yep. He Absolutely. has a Gardevoir in hand, but if, if uh, Igor does pull too, off... So. so, Igor does pull off the Guzma play. Yep. So we're going to see Which, trade number one. I uh, couldn't tell what card that was. Yeah, I couldn't either. It looked like a Mallow. Not sure, though. So, he was just going to play the one puzzle. Yep, there he is. Yep, he goes to the top. That right. was... So he's going to go to the top. Use trade number two. Eventually. There we go. Going to draw himself another two. And I'm one sure of those cards is definitely there. Guzma. He's yep. going to bring up the Ralts. Going to go into the Floatstone, going to likely retreat. I could see him maybe just using the regular Zorg at this point, conserving you for the off chance that yeah. comes out. So he's looking through his discard, kind of eyeing out what he can do in future turns at this point. Yep, so he's going to go in ahead and attach to the Zorg. I like that Kind of sees lot. the writing on the wall that, hey, if Eric does get another Gallade out, I have an easy out to it. Yep. You know? So Riot is beating is going to take the knockout there on that lone Ralts. So Eric's going to promote the Tapu Lele at this point and see what he can do from here. I think his biggest objective at this point is trying to get rid of that parallel city and hopefully trying to get some Ralts on the board. Yep, that's that's the only that's, that's kind of the goal right now, just to refill that bench with Ralts in. Yeah, absolutely. That is the only thing you should be doing at this point, I think. So there's not much else he could do, though, looking at his hand. I can see uh, Parallel City or a flip the side, but he's probably just going to get rid of right. the Lele's. He's so. got Abyssal Hands he can work with, so that maybe he can do that. Um, plays the uh, Parallel City so that Igor has a bench of three. And it looks like he's going to Guzma the Wimpod. I like that play, just so that it won't be on the bench so that First Impression can do stuff. 
Gonna draw two. Hey, a Ralts. There's a Ralts. Ding, All right, ding, ding. so we're getting somewhere. And Abyssal Hand. And, and is that another. a second Ralts? All right, that is exactly right. what he Perfect. needed at that point. Wow. So we still have Red Cating Gardevoir, and we still have two Abyssal Hands. Um, curious, let us float stone count. Yeah. Um, zero. Zero float stone. Yeah, I mean, I think he's just kind of accepted that. You know, maybe he can time. hit a Guzma. You're maybe yeah, he's going to get knocked out. Should be fine. So Igor's going to play another singular puzzle. Oh, that was no, that was a trade. Sorry. My bad. Yep, so there's the Glacipod. Gonna go ahead and Guzma one of the Raltzes. Okay. Kind of get it out of the way. And I think he's kind of figuring out, like, does he want to promote the Mew or the Zorak? But I think at this point, Zorak would be a play. Even yep. with resistance, that is still a knockout. So I think he's just gonna go ahead and go with that. Yeah, definitely keeping a Mew alive as the player now, because only I really catches Eric up at this point is a Gallade, so. Yes, absolutely. So, let's see. So he's going to go ahead and go for the knockout. And down to two prizes. So I wonder what's curious on Eric's mind, like what his out is on his, on his mind right now. I think so the big thing, knocking out the Mew in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. I think it's interesting because um, depending on what he evolves into, um, you know, the Galaisapod didn't get any energy on there, and maybe he could go for, like, a Galate or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can't knock that out without two energy attachments on that Galaisapod. Zorik's not going to knock it out. So there's a rare candy and a Cynthia. All right, gonna get nice six cards. So if you can hit double colorless energy, fairy energy, and choice band, does that knock out? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, 180. 180. Yep, 180 right there. Yep. So I mean, this play is still fine. He wanted to replenish his hand. So let's see. Does he run max potion? Like a cool no, there would be no max potion in Eric's lists. All right. Yeah, I think he made the space for the extra octillery mm -hmm. by getting rid of the max potion. So, it's going to Secret Spring, Attach for turn, Abyssal Hand for one, a Giratina that won't do much this game, but he's playing it anyway, so he can Abyssal Hand again. Why not? So, there we go. Uh, so Eric's probably just going to go ahead and use uh, Infinite Force. That'll deal 120 damage, which is a solid amount. A solid, of no, a solid amount, especially with how bulky Gardevoir is, plus right, the resistance. Like, he's this. almost forced to have to bring up Glissapod or Mew. Yes, absolutely. Well, which in this, uh, since I think he'd probably bring up a Glissapod to attack with, mm -hmm. if anything. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the big thing that Eric has to look out for, though, is the amount of Acerolas that Igor's gotten rid of or played. Mm -hmm. Because at this point, Igor's out of his puzzles. Yes, So, correct. you gotta... He used a G so he decided to opt to do uh, Twilight GX, what looks like Eric's doing, oh, and I'm like reloading that. his uh, his deck back with all support cards, energy, super rise, etc. Got it. Wow, that's actually a really interesting play. I can dig it. Um, but yeah, so I mean, he's probably going to Twilight back a bunch of like his double colorless energies, his Guzmas, probably all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, very good play on Eric's part. I didn't even think about that play. Um, a lot of people like forget that, that like how that attack. You know, everyone was thinking like Gardevoir, which is you know you gun ho, load boom, of energy, like, just yeah. you know. But load there's of more than out. just going complete aggro with Gardevoir. Yeah. There's a lot of conservation that goes into it as mm -hmm. well. And I think if you're Igor at this point, you are probably freaking out. Like, oh gosh, got all these resources back. Oh no. Yep. But oh, Igor's kind of in a nice little spot too. I mean, he's actually he's only hit for 60 right now, so I can see where that fear kind of comes to mind. Um, right. But it's, it's definitely like an interesting spot for both players. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But so one thing to keep in mind though, if he gets a, a grass on a Glisspot and it does not get knocked out, right, the next turn, Crosscut GX is just right there with the Lele on bench. Right there, kaboom kaboom. Right. So I think that's really what Igor is thinking about at this point. I would assume. So, gonna go ahead and use that Twilight GX, shuffle 10 item, shuffle 10 Actually, cards. so he just needs Grass Energy and Guzma Choice Man right now, because he can use the Mew to copy Cross and Cut GX. Mew uses all attacks on the field, correct? Yeah, but it doesn't hit Lele for weakness. It doesn't have to. Cross and Cut does 150. Oh, Cross and, oh, that's yeah, right. Cross and Cut hits yeah. for 150, Choice Man Knockout, and that could be it right there, since he already has Energy oh, on the Mew. Oh, gosh. Gonna go ahead and trade. So, yeah, that's actually, wow, that's really good. So, yeah, and he had the Grass Energy in hand, didn't he? He does, but I think so, he needs Choice Band and Guzma to, to solidify that. Because he has that. the Guzma. I saw the Guzma. Okay, right, so, so he's, he's just going to attach there. The Choice Band's already there, and I'm sure he probably plays a low count of them, so yeah. that could be his reason why uh, of going that route. Absolutely. Is he Guzma now, or is he going to hold? Uh, okay, it's going to feel low in the parallel. Yeah. Kind of get Zorg a little more damage. There we go, Sudo Wudo. Watch and learn. So, gonna go ahead and use the right. It's meeting for a 80. solid 80. Yep. 
Please come up to the computer. Trading card master. So on to Eric's turn. I mean, please come up to the computer. You know, what's unfortunate right now is that Eric only has room for one more Ralts. Right. With the, with the Giratina being uh, Giratina from being down there. So yeah, absolutely. Um, and plus, like, if this gets knocked out, like, the Gardevoir gets knocked out. That's the last two prizes for that's Igor. Last, yes, that's it. Yeah. Um, but looks like we're going for. Yeah, oh, there there's we go. Guzma. There's Guzma, and he's gonna go ahead. Don't see choice. But okay, gotcha. Choice band retreat. All right, cool. And it looks like Igor takes game, game number one. one. All right. Of round four for the correction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so definitely interesting. I'm really sad we didn't get to see Watch and Learn. I really wanted to see that. That would have been so much fun. Ah. Uh, oh well. I love, so, to, I love to see like the cute text come out and actually be used, but you know, watch and learn is a little. I guess it's pretty intricate in this matchup, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, force. I think it's more so for like, you know, maybe like a Zork mirror or something like that. I yeah. feel like it's kind of more so for that at that point. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you're Eric at this point, what do you want to do? Going uh, into game I mean, two? If he had a solid start, um, I, I just think you know he lost his steam not getting the extra Ralts down. And I think that's the only reason he kind of was set behind. Right. Was not being able to put down multiple Ralts. So. I think uh, he, I think he, you know, he had a stellar start and kind of figured, like, oh, I'll be fine. But then, you know, yeah, Igor hit all the pieces that he needed yes. to hit. So if, if, if Eric could do what he did last game, but just add, the, you know, those Ralts in, I think it would mm -hmm. be a solid spot. Yeah, for absolutely. Game I think that Eric needs to get more than one Ralts down. That sounds good. Maybe. All right. So they're both just shuffling up. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Do you think as Eric, do you want to try and go Gardevoir more or Glade more? I still like the Glade route. I think the Glade yeah. Octo route is still super optimal for this matchup. Mm -hmm. um, is that a Ralts or a Curly? That's just a Curly. Looks like a Curly. It's not yeah, starting a with that hand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if that were a Ralts, I would not have had fun with that. Oh, man. Ugh. So, I will say, luckily, so far with these games, I think minus just one game we've streamed so far, everyone's had pretty successful draws for a start. Mm -hmm. Every game, every game, someone you know. Nothing's been like really null at yeah, all. Yeah, there hasn't been any like you know donks or. Yeah. Oh, well, this is my hand. I can't do anything. Pass. Absolutely. So I, I think that's a great part. Yeah. Uh, kind of speaks for the format too, right now. You mm -hmm. know, adding yeah. Cynthia in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just another thing I like to point out. I always like to talk about the new sets when they come out. I think it's really cool. You can see how Cynthia has kind of changed this game a little bit. Yeah. You know, as if it were maybe like an N or something like that for Eric. Yeah. He had three prizes left. He was only going to get three cards if it were an N. Yeah. Not to say Cynthia replaces N at Yeah, all. exactly. Yeah. But, you know, that he had that capability I think is really cool. And I, I you know, there it goes. Prism. <laughs> Reading uh, the metronome. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I probably would have if I played today, too. <laughs> what? There's a legal Clefairy? What? Oh, wow. All so right. just an N on his side. Yeah, that's not good. So, no, if he doesn't get a bench... He can go DCE Kukui. Ew. And win off the dock. That does not sound fun. <laughs> Forge, so, eh, he did, but he does not play Kukui, so we won't see that play, but that's oh, a, lot, a lot of Zorg decks do opt for that. And, uh, yeah, maybe not the Golisopod as much. Fair um, enough. But, you know, oh well. So both of them are going to get six cards off the end that Eric played. We'll have to see if he gets a basic. Oh. Uh, well, there's a Lele. Lay. You might kind of just want to play yeah, that for safety play, at that point. Yeah, you got to play. Get a Cynthia, and he has the Bridget in hand already. That's yeah. how I'm figuring he's going to think about that after he does his deck search. He's going to just put a Cynthia in hand, I think. Yep. I mean, you're playing the Lele to be safe. You might as well get a supporter anyway. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Thins out your deck anyway, so that you're more likely to hit a basic if you need to. Yep, so. yep. I'm just going to... Do a deck search real quick, just kind of make sure that, oh, what do I have prize, what do I not have prize. I'm curious if we're going to see Sing get put into use at all this matchup. Like after Revolt Zora, maybe just so what? Sing on the uh, Clefairy, put, the, put him to sleep. Oh, yeah. I'm curious if that would be pl put, uh, <laughs> played all oh, right that now. would be hysterical. All right, video game seniors and video game Sing. masters, you have 50 minutes. You may begin. Wouldn't you just love a stream full of Sing? That would be fun. <laughs> be a I'd, very long I'd game. pay to watch that. Oh. All right. I don't so, know about that. Igor... <laughs> What is his hand? Yeah, I can't tell what's in there, but it does not look good. He didn't make an initial move, so... Yeah, I would not attach there because, like... Whoa! Because, Why like, would you attach? That's like, that's a retreat donk. Well, I mean, he'd oh. need the energy to yeah, begin with. Fair enough. So. so, it looked like he had the Zork in hand, did he? I can't tell. Let's see if he shuffles through. That's what Galissapod looked like. I can't really tell. Uh, Igor's, Igor's just going to scoop. He realizes that wow. his, his hand so, is utter trash. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm out of G-Stick because after saying, you know, at least no one's been donked yet. Clefairy's busted. It just won a game. <laughs> Clefairy intimidated. Praise Clefairy. All right. Zerua. <laughs> <laughs> so round three, what do you want to see out of Clefairy? No. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, so I mean, game three, obviously Igor is going to want to not dead draw. Um, yeah, he wants to see a couple more basics. Yeah, and maybe. A couple maybe more supporters. 
something like that. So, and I think Eric had a fine setup going for himself anyway. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, he was just kind of going for that Bridget because he knew that, like, eventually Igor is probably going yep. to set up. So, to be able to, you know, get those routes down, get that out of the yep. raid down, would be really helpful in his setup. So, yeah, we're just going to wait for them to shuffle up and... We're ready for there. game three? Yeah, uh, I'm excited. I'm hoping, uh, hoping to see a little bit more out of this game three, um, where yeah, we spoke like about Eric, like you know, getting more routes out and yeah. Igor, you know, duplicating what he did in game one. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Hopefully get a little bit better game out of this one. Yeah, definitely. And they shook their hands. They could be ready to slide over to game three. Yeah, any moment now. So, I mean, going into this match, I think we can't see the screen right now, but, I mean, I think Eric would probably be uh, hopefully starting out with a Bridget. That would be the ideal setup, maybe get down a couple of rolls. Especially for a Gardevoir deck. I mean, it's a setup-based deck. Bridget, yeah, Bridget, exactly. Bridget's a turn one kind play. Kind of the same all with the Zarkle Isopod deck. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yes. A little bit little bit more of a pace deck and, uh, you know, take his time to get get to his ultimate goal. Yeah, so. absolutely. It'll really just depend on Eric's hand, though, because as you saw in that previous game, he just had to play N on turn one because yep. his hand really wasn't that good. And looking at his list, he's playing two Bridget. Um, he is the three tapulele though, so like he'll probably be fine if he wants yeah, to sort of go the for that. Between the ultra balls, tapuleles, and even just starting with the bridge in hand, uh, yeah, you know, consistently absolutely. you should be able to get there. Yep. So All it right. looks like they were just setting up real quick. So Igor starting out with the tapu coco. That's a that's a pretty good card. As we saw earlier uh, when yes. uh, Aaron Tarbo was playing that Garbodor deck, mm -hmm. you know, Tapu Koko has got use in a lot of decks, aside from just, like, the simple spread decks all yeah. the way up to just, you know, sort of softening things up, which I think this could actually be really good for... Um, yes, I agree. For this matchup specifically, yep. because if you can't evolve those Ralts in time, oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to get flying flipped. You're going to get flipped over. <laughs> so, the convenience also Coco uh, being with Galisabod, so, so having a free retreat and be able to just Guzma free retreat from the Coco and hit the first impression with Galisabod also. Right, yeah, absolutely. I'm saying absolutely too much. I need to strengthen my vocabulary. <laughs> I absolutely need to. So Igor is playing a Bridget right now, getting himself a couple of Zorak and a Wimpod. He's also just looking through his deck, kind of to see, you know, his prizes and prizes. That's one of the things, all things the that I think cards. is really cool amongst like you know the really respected players. You know the ones that have done well. They yep. all the thing I, that I've seen them have in Video common is they're looking through their deck on their first yep. search to see what prizes they have. You know, like what may have been prized. Like yep. especially when you're playing one of text. Like when you're like Igor, you have the one type of Coco. You have the pseudo Wudo. You have the yep. You have to look for those kind of cards if they're good yep. in those matchups. And so I think that's really interesting of Igor to be a lot of using that a lot of players. You know, they're they're really good at mapping out their routes yes. so they can kind of see. You know, I have these X cards. Yes. What is now my path of victory against this deck? Yeah, and they kind of just, you know, put those variables together to kind of figure out the, what the best cards to pull out from the deck. Yeah, definitely. I know that, like, if you're me, like, I just learned this skill about a year ago, and it was actually mm -hmm. hysterical because I would, like, I searched a couple of weeks ago at a League Cup, and I found out all three like in Rock reprised. I'm like, all right, <laughs> cool. Sometimes it can really kill you. Yeah. So, uh, it's a really good skill to have, though, for sure, for those of you, those, uh, those of you who are looking to maybe like get into the game, maybe you're watching this for the first time. It's really a fun skill to have once you get into the more advanced yep, side of it. You know. So over on to Eric's turn, uh, he's going to go ahead and play Bridget. Wouldn't that be surprised to see some variation of Remoraids and Ralts? Is... I wonder if he's going to uh, favor more Ralts this game over his Remoraid compared to game one. Very well um, might. Because that kind of killed him not having a you know, yep. third attacker at that point. Because he knows that Igor is playing Mew and stuff like that. So maybe Eric is almost thinking maybe of not going the Gallade route. Yep. At least, at least you know, Initially. immediately. Yep. Uh, we'll definitely see. It looks like he is going with the Ralts and remaining in, in, in another Ralts. But right now he's doing similar to Igor to, let me see what all I got. Yep. There how we go. I, how do I win? Can so, I do it with these cards? Yep. Going to go for the two Ralts and the Remory. That seems like a fine play. So... Obviously, that's really good because I wish he could get three Gallade out. But he can get two Gallade and a Gardevoir out. Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah, and, you know, great game here because both players start with an opening Bridget without having a Lele or Ultra Ball for, you know, search out for it. So, yeah, both nice starts for Absolutely. each side. And that saves it, you know, if they do have, like, a Lele or something like that, then they can, you know, use that to get maybe a Cynthia or a Sycamore or something like that. Oh, wow. So, so Igor's got a couple of evolutions, got the Golisopod down, got the Zorark GX down. Uh, have we seen Golisopod attack this game? I don't think we no, have. No, we have not. Oh, uh, he, at, the, at the end of game yeah, one. Game yeah, yeah, one, yeah, yeah. he won with a first impression for game. Yeah, absolutely. So that first impression attack is really interesting. If Golisopod DX is on your bench mm -hmm. during that turn and it becomes the active, then it does 120 instead of 30, mm. which in combination with Choice Band, that's 150, which is really good. It's a good number. You know that's a good number for? After a Coco spread hits 170 on a Lele. So ding, ding, ding. lots of winner, winner, convenient chicken dinner. math for oh, yes. uh, this Golisopod deck. Absolutely. It's probably putting a really good impression on Eric. Uh, wow. I promise I'm never this corny. So <laughs> after the end that Igor just played, they're both going to get six cards. It looks like he's considering retreating the Tapu Koko. Uh, I don't see why he wouldn't. I mean, 
got yeah, so I would take the knockout right yeah, now. I would, There's I not would much. The, it needs uh, a lot. Yeah. It needs, you want to go for the knockout, but I think he's going to trade before he Gardevoir needs a trade. lot this next turn. If he goes Rickard and Gardevoir needs a lot to even get the knockout back on a Gliss Pod. Going right. back to what we said before, with him only having, uh, or sorry, it having one energy, so. Definitely. So there we go. Let's see the knockout with the first impression from Gliss Pod GX on Igor's side. So Eric's going to promote the Ralts. Didn't see Eric's hand off of that end. Uh, so I don't know if he's got outs to being able to rare candy into something this turn, mm -hmm. um, or if he might just have to settle for just putting out some Curlios. So we'll just have to wait and see at this point. But I would love to see a Gallade out this turn. It would force Igor to, you know, use his um, his cross and cut GX. Oh, it's a very good point right there. Yeah, it would force him to use that or find an alternate method to try and knock out the Gallade. Looks like he's just going to get the Curly off the Ultra Ball. So maybe he doesn't have the rare candy, you know, combination with either a Galate or a Gardevoir, but mm. looks like he's taking that back, though. Maybe he's considering, like, yeah, no, he's going to go for it. he's solidifying that. Yep. All right. So he's going to go ahead and evolve that one on the bench, attach Fairy Energy, and play an N. Looked like he was just kind of doing some, like, numbers in his head of, like, if I N, what are my odds of just hitting X cards? Right. And so he's kind of glancing through and seeing what all could get him to that route. So mm -hmm. another, another nice factor that these top-level players have is kind of knowing the statistics of if I Ultra Ball, or and at this point, you know, what 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 would what it get me there? Pretty much what I'm trying what to say. Be good. Yeah, exactly. So CNN, Igor's gonna get five. Doesn't really matter. Not that it doesn't matter, but he has the Zorak, so he can trade away if he wants to. Uh, Eric's gonna get six. If we can see like a rare candy or something, that'd be pretty cool. I uh, don't see it though. He had a Gardevoir and he had an Evo soda. Ooh, the parallel's good. So Igor's gotta get rid of two Pokemon. What would you get rid of in this situation? Because oh, he has right a now? lot on a bench that's valuable. Ooh. Tapu Koko seems like a pretty good choice. I, I'm guessing Tapu Koko and a Wimpod. Yeah. At this point, you know, Trey can get you back to your Field Blower. Field Blower can get Although you to Although the thing is, stuff. you kind of want Tapu Koko if you're going to do Guzma first impression yes, shenanigans. That's, that's the, yeah, but, yeah, I agree with that. Yep. Yeah. So, looks like Eric's just going to go for an Evo Soto. Got to get out of Curlia. Uh, Unless it evolves into something else I don't know. Oh, Octillery. That's a good point. Yep, yeah, because he, he says that, you know, unless I get his rare candy, this Ralt's going to probably gonna get, die. Get, get fainted yeah, anyways. So there's no point in that point. anyway, so. So yeah, going to go ahead and get the Octillery with that Abyssal Hand ability. That is a lot of uh, bleh, 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 Abyssal Hand ability. You're getting good I at this. What? You're getting good at this. Oh, thanks, you too. I tried. <laughs> so he's going to use Abyssal Hand Draw 1. Oh, uh, right. Gets an Ultra Ball off of it. Uh, Trying to see what else that is. Looks like it might be a Cynthia and a Gardevoir, yeah. but... Looks like he's just going to pass. He just kind of sees, yeah, this this Ralts is going to die. Igor just has to play one puzzle. He might be, like, digging for a Guzma, I think, at this point, because he wants to get rid of that Curlia, I bet. So... Yep, going to look at those top three. Kind of going to go from there... Because, I mean, obviously you'd want to get the Guzma, but, like, it looks like... You could do a couple different things here. So you can, yeah. um... Ah, see, I don't think that's the right play. You can armor press right now, but then you leave three energy on your Galissapod, which right. is, you know, asking for trouble with the Gardevoir. Yes. Uh, so I think, optimally, like you're saying, is the Guzma, Riotus beating on that Curly on bench. But yeah, he needs another Pokemon. Actually, Riotus beating wouldn't be knockout because of the Parallel. Yeah, so he needs another Pokemon, yeah. so he needs mm -hmm. Field Blower plus uh, another... Pokemon on bench. Yeah, exactly. Or a surprise Kukui that we don't see on the list, but that would not be good. Yeah, so... <laughs> judge. Judge, please. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. So it looks like he's just going to Professor Sycamore. Yeah, I think at that point, seeing he had the Sycamore, I think he was looking for the Guzma with the trade. Um, so it looks like he's going to go ahead and Evo Soda, I think. That is such a good card in these Zorak so decks. Or these stage one decks in yes, general. Absolutely. It's really good because Evo Soda lets you search your deck, uh, your deck for a card that evolves from any one of your Pokemon on the bench. It does two things. The, it thins your deck and it gets your stage one Pokemon. So right. it's, exactly. it's always in use. So it's like a it's like a slightly, I don't want to say like an Ultra Ball, yeah. but it gets out of Pokemon without having to discard a bunch of cards. And I like it works well with Zork because even if you have your all your Zorks evolved, you can just, like Igor just did, just yep. trade the Evo Sodas away. Him, trade away the Evo Sodas. Perfect. So it looks like he's going to do that, get himself another two cards. So, he has a DCA in hand. Would you put that on a Zorak, or do you think you'd put that on a Glycopod GX? Uh, I'm not putting it on Glycopod at this point. Uh, well, there's a Flowstone. Okay, so, yep. yep. So, I was about to say, unless you have a Flowstone Retreat, and, or, you know, all those kind of different numbers there. Uh, but, I think this is fine. Yep. That works perfectly fine. So, yeah, he's going to get the right of speeding knockout here. Just 20 for each of the Pokemon on your side of the field, which is 80 minus 20 from Resistance is a perfect 60. I'm really curious if he's going to go just straight up Gallade here. He very well might. I thought he had a Gardevoir. He has Gardevoir in hand, hand but you could Ultra Ball it away, or Ultra Ball. I think at this point, Gardevoir hand. would actually be really interesting because you can get a Fairy Energy DCE and a Choice Band, and that should be a knockout. 
No, uh, another fairy, do you see? That yeah, because he can yep, secret spring. Yep, mm -hmm. 210. Exactly. But it looks like he, he's going to go for Glee. I can see the merits of that, too. You just got to be really careful of that crossing cut GX. Yep. This is really all you got to look out for. So, going to attach a fairy. There's the Tapu Lele. Going to wonder tag for a card. Wouldn't be surprised to see, like, Cynthia and... Yep. Going to go for the end. Going to go ahead and play that. So, Eric's going to get six. Igor's going to get four. Um, I think if you're Eric, you want to draw another Ralts off of we this. We need because these Ralts, you need them. and we need them now. You need some of them draining kisses. Is that what that tech is? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's right there on the screen. You're getting Fair good at this. enough. <laughs> so, yeah. Igor's going to get four. Eric's going to get six. And I think you're, if, you, if you're Igor at that point, you want a double colorless energy, and there it is in his hand. So, crossing uh, couple yeah. definitely happen next turn. And Eric or, did not hit a Ralts either. Yeah. Oh. He does have Abyssal Hand, if you can narrow his hand down enough. Fair enough. Um, he does have Ultra Ball, so he has options. Okay, so he's going to get it out. So yeah. he'll, he'll Ultra Ball the two fairies away, get a Ralts on bench, and then Abyssal for the other three cards. Right. Yep. So he's going to get a knockout, and he has another return knockout potentially with the Ralts if he right. goes cross cut. So, not a bad spot. Yep, and I think it's really cool. On Eric's side, if I saw correctly, there is a Rare Candy in his hand. Yes, yeah, so, this, so this is actually if really he can good get spot. something, that's going to be big. So it looks like Eric is going to use the Premonition There's ability. Gardevoir right there. And Clefairy. Sing, sing, sing. I love singing. I think you'd put the Gardevoir on top if you're going to get hit by Golisopod with your energy, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm, 100%. And I like the Rimmeray Golisopod Although I can see also. the merits of Gardevoir, to, or of Glade. Yep, there goes the Abyss Land. Eric's going to draw three. And I did see him put the Remoraid and yes. the Gardevoir up there. And a Field Blower on the Floatstone. That's pretty good. And then Galate is going to go ahead and use that Sensitive Blade and knock out Zork because of that dreaded fighting weakness. One like of the us. only downsides of the card. This game is a lot better. Uh, this game is, you know, a lot, a lot of great plays on both sides. Yeah, a lot yes, closer. So Absolutely. So if you're eager at this point, you, would you promote the Glycopod? I probably would. In, in this set, not knowing what's in Eric's hand, uh, I'd probably promote the Glycopod. Yeah, Glycopod, yeah, sorry. Because Crossing Cut is going to make it go to the bench anyway. Yeah. So, so you, could, like, you, could, you could throw something up there to get knocked out regardless. Yeah. Now, an interesting thing is that if Eric had played it the other way, that crossing cut wouldn't have knocked out. The that grade. is very true. So, yeah, that could have been really big. So, Igor's going to play an end. Uh, both are going to get four cards, it looks like. So, One thing I like what these players do is they know when to do the extra, the, the little things, such as attaching a cho uh, choice band before an end. They know that they're going to get to a low hand size, and they want to hit X cards. So, what are my best odds of doing that? Let me thin that out. So... You know, keep track of that kind of stuff when these players do it. It's, it's, it's really unique. Yeah, it's so fun to see all the intricacies that go into it because a lot of people kind of see the trading card game and they think, oh, it's just a bunch of cards. Like, yeah. what's, what's, how hard can it be? But there's so many intricacies that go into that. You mm -hmm. see, like, you know, like if you're playing a card where you're going to draw like that, you want to get rid of your cards. Yes. You know, if you're, like I mentioned earlier, with the checking prizes thing, mm -hmm. there's so many intricacies that go yep. into this game. It is actually really insane. And to see two top-level players like this, yep. it's really fun. So there we go. Igor is going to use the Crossing Cut GX attack. Going to knock that Galate out. And here we go. So I think the problem for Igor going forward is that if Eric gets a Gardevoir, how do you respond? Uh, that's going to be pretty tough because now you use GX attack. Um, right. Armor Press is just not really useful at this point. If you get two... He gets two uh, Guard of Wars out. He's kind of, he's putting himself back in the driver's seat. So And plus the counter energy is already on the board. And the counter so energy already on the board. So there's Sudo no, Udo. there's no Sudo Udo. No I mean, there's still Udo puzzles. Shenanigans. That is true. I though. think he still has two left. I know I saw two go away. Okay. Uh, um, so yeah. he may have the other two left still. But um, no, I think if, if Eric can get out of Guard of War and, you know, start doing some serious damage, um, this game could, you know, very well end up in his favor. So Yeah, absolutely. So it looks like Eric is playing in Eva Soda. Did he just bench that Ralts? Okay, cool. They're correcting it, yeah, because he just benched a Ralts, so he can't evolve the but the uh, one down. Yeah. Yep. Did he just bench it? Correct. Yeah, he just. Yeah. So, the way that it works though is that he does it, that one was just played. That one was just played. We can get someone to catch that. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, like Evo Soda. The cool thing is that the deck is private knowledge, so he does not have to evolve. If he doesn't want to. He's yep. just gonna go for the artillery though. That's okay. fine. Because I know that he has the red candy card of our hand. I think that he probably wants to go for that. So, Very solid. So, I mean, he can knock the Zoro out so easy. Actually, no. I lied. He got end. I forgot that end exists. 
<laughs> I got so excited about Cynthia that I just forgot. So I'm curious why he didn't bench the other Ralts before doing yeah, the Abyssal I don't know Hand. Either. Yeah. Or was it a Curlia? I couldn't tell. It might be a Curlia. No, that's a Ralts. No, that's a Ralts. That's a Ralts. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. That would give you one extra card with the Abyssal Hand. Um, thankfully, he does have a second Abyssal is. Hand that he can burn if he wants to. But So he's eyeing a Guzma. I don't know you Guzma at this point though, because then that just brings up Galisopod to do more. Trading card game master James Turner. Okay, there we go. I like this. I like this. Yeah. And he got a DC choice band. That's honestly a little convenient. Okay. He's gonna hold on to that. Yeah, I like that. Just putting the energy on, just so that you don't like you retreat later on. Of, right. So there we go. There goes a the trade. Bitch is an Ultra Ball. It's actually a really good play because Cross Cut GX has already been used. So Lele is pretty much, he's there. I'm like, I'll take the one hit. It's fine. Yep. I did see Igor get a Guzma, so he could Guzma that Curlia and uh, Armor Press it. I think that would put Eric in a pretty pressing situation. So. Uh, there you go, good. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, and that's exactly what we see. I literally, uh, yep, there you go. A pressing situation for Eric. Oh my god. So only armor press, four, and the other big thing is, even if he gets a Gardevoir out, 20 damage is taken off because of armor press. Yep. So, or 30. I'm bad with numbers. It's 30. Is it 30? It's minus 30, I believe. It's 30. You're a pro commentator here, guys. So, <laughs> so from this point, uh, <laughs> Eric's going to attach DCE and Choice Band to the top of the 20, 40, 60, I mean, 80, I can, 100, I can see the validity in that just because Still nothing on the board can actually knock anything out. Yeah, there's nothing there. And especially under Parallel, the Zorak's never going to get to those numbers. Right, so. exactly. So that's a fine play. I can see it. So yeah, Igor's going to get two. And he only has one trade, so this one does kind of hurt a little bit. Yes. So I didn't see what he got. Eric just used the Abyssal Hand, and uh, yep, gonna go ahead and use Wonder or not Wonder Tag, uh, Energy Drive for. So I guess it's only minus twenty. Well, actually. One two three four five six. Twenty four. Twenty. One fifty. Someone will have to let him know about the armor press. Yes. Somebody let him know about armor press. Yep. Yeah. Let him know about the armor press. Uh. Hey guys, there's armor press on that attack. All right, well, I'll keep it going for right now while uh, Chris goes to figure that out. Um, but right now, Eugor's just doing a little search for his discard, kind of seeing what it, he has left in his deck, uh, what already he's uh, used up for this game, and kind of figure out what is the best situation right now to go moving forward. Um, I'm not, I haven't seen what's in his hands yet. Um, yep, there it goes. Judge is going in now to fix the armor press damage. Okay, sorry about that. And yeah, so they're still going, and uh, Judge got it all figured out. The damage is all good to go, and um, we're moving on forward through the game. Sorry, but so, sorry about that. It looked like the numbers were really weird on our screen. Just wanted to verify. So we want to be legitimate here for everyone here, make sure everyone's you know playing a fair game and all the rules get enforced correctly. So, uh, but we are going forward. They're still doing a math. Just double check. Choice man. Um, and our press does. Try to yeah. So the judges are working on it right now. I'm sure it'll be fine. So. Okay, they both agreed to do whatever the number is. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, Igor goes ahead and uses that tradeability. Uh, gonna get rid of the Sudowoodo there. Kind of sees that there's not really much of a point in having it right now. So, there goes a field blower. Gonna get rid of a parallel city. I don't know why you would not get rid of the choice ban, though. So. Ah, that's actually a good point. Also, I just, maybe he knows he he feels, he feels he's gonna knock it out maybe this turn, but I don't see how right. he does that. Uh, okay, enhanced hammer on the DCE. There we go. And that, maybe he really just wants to armor waste press. that energy. So, all right, so armor press goes down. Gonna do that damage to the Tapu Lele GX, and Eric's gonna go for the Cynthia here. Gonna get a fresh hand of six cards. So he cards. needs the so. Gardevoir play right now. So, so off these six cards, I think you kind of want to get a rare candy. You want to get a rare candy, Gardevoir, Retreat, and knock out this Gliss Pod. That's, just, that's it kabloom. right there. That's, that's all it. you want to yep. do. Because Zorg won't and do much right now. And at this point, you've got to have to hope that Igor's one card 
is not a candy. Up. I see a Gallade. I do not see a Gardevoir. But uh, Gallade is still okay. enough. Yeah, Gallade he has is double colorless definitely energy. still enough. He has Premonition. He has, you know, Abyssal Hand. Right. So it's all still. There's a red candy right there. Do we see another Gardevoir to go with it? Uh, no. A fairy. <laughs> so uh, you put him to sleep. Yeah, this is really huge for Igor because, like, if he doesn't have a Guzma, this could get really ugly really fast. Yep. Um, obviously, a Guzma, assuming that the Tapu Lele is going to retreat, uh, Guzma would be able to bring up that Tapu Lele, but, you know, what do you do? So it looks like Eric is going to go ahead and use Abyssal Hand numero dos. Going to go ahead and get an extra two cards. Going to retreat, and then going to go ahead and promote that Glade. I'm going to use that sensitive Glade attack. Yep, and that should be enough for knockout. Should be, yep. Hmm? There we go. Tapu um, Lele. Oh, okay. There it is. Yeah, Guzman Hand. All right, there you go. Last two prizes with two Zorks. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Here's, 